Hot Russia Ukraine May 13, Ukraine prevails, launching homemade weapons, the Russian side says it's fine. Ukraine recaptured a lot of territory, the Russian side said it's fine, huge explosion in Luhansk, South Africa summons the U.S. ambassador, Ukraine is about to launch homemade weapons. War Situation Information from Russia On May 12, the commander of the Akhmet Commando Unit and deputy commander of the Russian 2nd Army Corps, Apti Alaudinov, said that certain tensions were increasing around Bakhmut City, Donetsk Province, Donbass Region, east of Bakhmut, Ukraine, according to the TASS news agency. However, inside the city, fighters from Russia's Wagner private military group still control the situation, according to Alaudinov. He added that the Russian military has been preparing carefully for the so-called Ukrainian counteroffensive for a long time. On the same day, Andrei Marichko, a member of the pro-Russian separatist militia in the Donetsk region, said that the Ukrainian army has increased its military activity, but there has been no large-scale counterattack, TASS reported. Marichko added that the Ukrainian military is conducting mock maneuvers to distract the Russian forces and conceal the direction of a major advance. I urge everyone to follow closely the reports of the Russian Defense Ministry and get data from official sources, Marichko said. The comments came after Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of Russia's Wagner mercenary group, said Moscow was withdrawing from some areas in Bakhmut, according to Reuters news agency. Moscow acknowledged that Russian forces had retreated north of Bakhmut after a fresh wave of Ukrainian offensive, a move Wagner called a retreat. Prigozhin added that the northern and southern flanks, protected by Russian regular troops, are collapsing. The Russian Ministry of Defense denies this. Also on May 12, pro-Russian separatist authorities in Luhansk province also accused Ukraine of being behind the explosions that rocked the city of Luhansk. Ukraine did not comment on the allegation. Information from Ukraine? Reuters quoted Serhiy Cherovatyi, spokesman for the Eastern Fighting Group of Ukrainian Forces on May 12, saying that in the past three days, Ukrainian forces have regained 17.3 square kilometers of territory. On the same day, the Ukrainian military said Russian forces appeared to be trying to retake these areas. Mr. Maxim Zorin, a Ukrainian officer in the Bakhmut battlefield, said Kiev had to work day and night to hold on to the positions it had just regained from Russia. There is still a very long way to go to victory, added Zorin. Also on May 12, Ukraine's defense minister, Oleksiy Reznikov said that the country is about to put into service self-made battle tanks. Mr. Reznikov posted a test drive video of the new Ukrainian tank Oplot and said that he believes Ukrainian tanks, such as the Oplot, should be at the forefront of the tank alliance. Oplot was built in Kharkiv province and is an improved version of the Soviet-designed T-84 main battle tank. The unit that produces this tank is the Ukrainian state-owned Ukrabarone Prom Company. It is not clear how many Oplots will be produced. Other Developments According to a May 12 announcement by the Belgian government, the country will transfer the tax proceeds from Russia's frozen assets to Ukraine in the latest aid, amounting to $100 million, CNN reported. News According to Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo, half of the money in this aid will be spent on military purposes and the other half will be used to help civilians. On May 12, the Russian Foreign Ministry said that Britain's delivery of Storm Shadow long-range missiles to Ukraine was an extremely hostile step which would seriously escalate the conflict. The delivery of high-precision long-range missile systems to the Kiev authorities clearly confirms the unprecedented level of British involvement in the conflict in Ukraine, the Russian Foreign Ministry said in a statement. The ministry further stressed that Russia reserves the right to take all necessary measures to neutralize threats that may arise from Ukraine's use of British cruise missiles. Earlier on the same day, the Kremlin said Russia was certainly prepared for the West to continue supplying arms to Ukraine. On May 12, South Africa summoned U.S. Ambassador Ruben Brigadier II after he accused the South African government of delivering weapons and ammunition to a Russian cargo ship, which was sanctioned by the West at the end of the year. Last year, according to CNN. The office of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa insists there is no evidence to support such allegations, and the government plans to set up an independent investigation into the matter.